in this problem we have a crate of 65 newtons weight which is being pulled up by a cord a c b the motor at b winds the other end of the cord and the crate is moving up at a constant velocity the pulley at c is in equilibrium and is supported by the cord cd we had to find the tension in cord cd and the angle theta so the first step is to draw a bd of the pulley which is in equilibrium we have to neglect the size of the pulley so we can treat that pulley as a point and that point is being shown here now the tension in cord ac is 65 newtons so tension in cord ac is 65 newtons why do we say that because if we draw a bd of the crate the weight mg acts downwards the tension tac acts upwards and since the velocity velocity is constant therefore the acceleration of the crate is zero and therefore the net force on the crate is zero and therefore tac is equal to mg and that is given as 65 newtons now we can assume that the pulley is frictionless and massless and we can also ignore the mass of the cord and therefore the tension in this segment of the cord bc will be same as the tension in the segment ac of the cord because this is a single cord which runs over the pulley so the tension in the cord ac b throughout its length the tension will be same and therefore we can say that t bc also is equal to 65 newtons and therefore we can show these two forces this is tension in ac and this is tension in bc the tension in the cord cd is shown as t cd at an angle theta with the horizontal now we can apply the equations of equilibrium now this is x axis and this is y axis so we have sum of all the forces in x direction is equal to 0 this will mean tcd cos theta this is the component of tcd along the x axis minus the x component of tbc that is 65 newtons and the x component of that will be 5 over 13 multiplied by 65 so this will be 65 multiplied by 5 upon 13 equal to 0 so this will simplify to tcd cos theta equal to 25 that is equation number 1 similarly sum of all the forces in y direction will be equal to 0 so sigma fy equal to 0 this is another condition of equilibrium and this will give us tcd sin theta which is the y component of this tension force minus the y component of this force and the tension tac so this will be 65 times this is 12 and the hypotenuse 13 so 65 into 12 upon 13 and tac is 65 so minus 65 will be equal to 0 this will simplify to tcd sin theta equal to 
and this will work out to 60 so plus 60 that is equal to 125 this is equation number 2 so now we have two equations and two unknowns TCD and theta. So we will divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 to get tan theta equal to 125 divided by 25 equal to 5. Therefore theta will be equal to tan inverse of 5 which will be equal to 78.69 degrees. And therefore, from equation number 1, tension in chord CD, that is TCD, would be equal to 25 upon cos of this angle. So, 25 upon cosine of 78.69 this will be equal to 25 upon 0 0.196 and this will equal 127.55 newtons. So that is our answer and we are done. So thank you for watching and if you like the video please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.